Hello everyone, just want to welcome you into the FitServe Coaching Method. And in here, we're going to be able to share our wins, our failures, all these things to be able to improve all the things that God has set before us. Our vision is transforming lives inside and out all around the world. And the way that we get there is becoming fit physically and spiritually to serve others. And it just brings me back, it reminds me of me growing up, third grade, this is where it was, that I had a mentor in my life, it was my father, but I was introduced to the game of tennis, shouldn't have, we were in a, a small town that uh, it was about basketball and football and and the projects was about uh, pickup games and the alleys and, and hanging out with friends, uh, not too good areas, but tennis was exposed to me and I took full advantage of and I just wanted to be at the tennis courts with my father. He continued to uh, show up and mentor me and so coaching has been a big part of my story. And I know how important coaching is because that allowed me to go on and play division one tennis and then eventually play professionally um, on the pro circuit playing tennis. And I, that was short lived. I moved to Las Vegas and all I wanted to do is gain riches and money. So I made a lot of money, lost a lot of money until I really found out the, the real success is, is what you're doing and your calling and your walking in life. Until I started implementing the fit to serve method, God started showing me uh, not just the things that look good on the outside, but the boring work, the things that you want to do in the inside. What is that thing that is burning inside of you that you want to get out and do? But maybe there's some fear inside of you. So we're going to utilize this group. We're going to share our wins. We're going to share our failures. We're going to contribute to one another. We're going to help one another grow. And it's about getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. And in this group, we're going to engage and we're going to help each other. We're going to help each other have great eating habits. We're going to have healthy lifestyle living. We're going to have a great mindset. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of nutrition tips. And so there's going to be a, a, a lot of things. And I want to gear this around what you guys want. Okay. Um, we're going to kind of share with you the Fit to Serve method. And we're going to bring you into where is your lane in life. And we're going to walk through that. We're going to see where that is. And we're going to start to allow you to discover and be aware of what your calling is. What's true success in your eyes. So many times I've seen people in, in church, uh, uh, going to church quite a bit every single day and getting built up spiritually. But on the other side, physically, they're dwindling away. And then I've seen on the other side, physically fit, great shape, great athlete, but there's no spiritual walk. And so we want to make sure we have a balance and the fit to serve method is going to show us. It's going to walk us through. We're going to start to look at the, the humility of, of being able to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. We're going to start to look at the mobility of being able to be flexible in the things that we are called to do. We're going to look at the endurance of how do we run this race that's called before us. It's not a sprint, but it's a marathon. And then we're going to look at that love. The love that pours through you onto others. It wasn't until I I really knew what serving was. I was serving self. I was serving self, 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 self. Until you're able to contribute. So we get to practice that, guys, right inside this group. Serving one another. Showing up big. Showing up and, and contributing. Not just because it's going to serve us. But we want to play big because it's going to serve others. And that'll come back a thousand times fold. Trust me, by pouring into others. And this group is going to be about that, about growing, about doing the common, uncommonly well. What's that? That's getting back to the basics. Some things you probably have heard, but I've always said that it's better to be reminded than to be taught a lot of times. Reminding ourselves of these things that you might know of, but let's go ahead and put them in a systematic order so you can start to do what you need to do in your lane to get you to the next step in the process of your journey. Okay, guys, so 
love talking to you guys. We're gonna have so much training. There's gonna be drop downs. There's gonna be um, guidebooks. There's gonna be a lot of stuff. So uh, when we reach out to you, we want you to uh, introduce yourself into the group. Why are you here? What you wanna get out of the group? And uh, there'll be a lot of questions. We wanna make sure you show up for these questions that we're asking. And uh, it's if you think that it's something foolish, if you think there's a failure in your life, you know what? And you're, you're, you're um, unsure of asking, ask it because someone's probably thinking of that same question that you're asking. So show up, let's get bold. Let's get bold and be able to step forward in the calling that we are called to do in life. And so guys, I'm all in with you guys. So um, super excited to start this journey. God bless, have a blessed day and look forward for the other trainings.